All right, go for it. I'm going to demonstrate the um, bias ruler. So this is a half yard of fabric. You can see the selvage here. And you're gonna lay this ruler, it opens up. You're gonna lay this ruler with one edge on either side and that is your bias. The ruler itself is two and a half inches wide and quarter inch gridded. So you can just move it to whatever width you want. So if you cut two and a quarter inch binding, you move it a quarter of an inch off the edge. If you cut two and a half, you just leave it right on the edge. If you do applique, you can cut a one inch strip for stems and binds, or if you use it for piping as well. And then you want to make sure you clip those corners so that when you go to put your pieces together, they just line up, which makes it really easy to know where to sew them. Perfect. And that's how they go together. You put them in a 90 degree angle when you sew them. Perfect. Tell us why bias binding is better than regular binding. Um, because when you cut regular straight agrarian banding, and a lot of quilt shops you're going to go to will tell you it doesn't matter, but it truly does matter. So when you cut this way, your threads are going this way and they're running this way. And when you put this on the edge of your quilt, you've got one or two threads running along the top. When that thread breaks, it's going to break the whole binding down because thread follows itself and it'll just break it down. When you cut it on the bias, your um, threads are running at an angle. Thousands of threads this way and thousands of threads this way. When you put that on the edge of a quilt, you've got all those thousands of threads crisscrossing, and once one of those breaks, all it can do is go back to where it was sewn in. It can't take your whole binding down. Perfect. Okay. Love that. Did you want to see the half square triangles? Yes, please. Okay. These are the half square triangles, and they come in three sizes, two, three, and four inch finished. And what you're going to do is sew your two strips together and you put a seam on both sides. So we have a seam a quarter of an inch down here and a seam a quarter of an inch from the edge. And the ruler itself has a line and you're going to put that line on the seam and you're going to cut, rotate it, put the line on the seam and cut, rotate it. And you can see that you don't have any waste. You just have this little piece down here. You're cutting it all the way down. And so there's no waste, and also each one of them are being cut exactly the same from this line to the point. So when you're done with your pieces, all you have to do is press them open and they're ready to go in your quilt. No putting them on a rotating mat and trimming them down, wasting your time and wasting your fabric. And they're all exactly the same size, and you just press them open and they're ready to go in your quilt. And like I said, these are two, three, and four inch finished <laughs> sizes. This little one fits perfectly on two jelly roll strips with a quarter inch seam oh, on either side. Nice. And that makes a two inch finish. Perfect. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. We get to the end of the quilt. Here's the ruler. So this one, um, this is like a quilt, okay? And I've sewn the binding all the way around, and then I'm gonna leave a 12 inch opening. And I put two pins in there before I sew my binding so that I know I have 12 inches to work with. And that's all you have to measure. The ruler looks like this, and its instructions are right on it. You're gonna lay this down where you finished, um, where you your first pin is. You're gonna bring your binding over the top, and you're gonna mark where it says mark here. You're gonna open this up on your cutting mat, and you're gonna bring this down and make an A cut. So there's a little A here, and we're gonna put that A, and we're gonna make the cut. Then you're gonna rotate the ruler, bring your binding over the top, mark where it says mark here again, now this time we're going to come down and we're going to make a B cut. So there's a line where the B is and we're going to make a B cut. So this cut and then this cut. The beauty of this is when you put these two pieces together, before you even take a stitch, you can see that's going to work. Yeah. You're going to take that seam a quarter of an inch and then this is the one seam in the quilt for sure that you want to press open. And that's so that it disperses the bulk so that you don't get a lump there where you join it. Do you have lumpy so joinings? <laughs> then also, this is two and a half inches wide, so it fits perfectly on a jelly roll. So you can use it to make French braid or prairie braid quilts. This one is called the Binding to the Star. Cool. Love it. Okay, how much are these? So this this ruler that I showed you first is twenty dollars. Okay. This one is ten, and the triangle tools are also twenty dollars. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. I usually just walk by these. I never really stop to look at them. But earlier today, George from George Moore's, from Moore's Sewing, 
he was pushing on it and doing some things and so hopefully I'm going to be able to find somebody who can show me how this sucker works because it's actually quite interesting and then I was really digging this drawer right here it's got that did I, okay so then I just I pulled out this drawer and then we have this right here okay I am getting ready to hurt my little this I love that I love it I love it I love it so let's see if we can't find somebody to help us out with this all right, we're hanging out with Connor over at Moore's. He's going to show us how all this works. Um, I, I walk by these all the time. Go, oh, shoot. I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> okay. Oh, saw that going differently, too. That comes in with a slick finish at the end. Ah. So it's called the Hideaway Deluxe for a reason. Hideaway Deluxe. The drawers hide away. Oh, the doors do hide away. There you go. Take the top piece off. Three storage levels. Storage level. Storage level. That would be a showing level. That's where we can get acrylic. Custom acrylic to your machine cut out. Okay. Custom acrylic. Huh. Okay, go that's for it. Right. Go for it. No, that's all right. There you go. Yeah. And you get your top one. Let's give you your open arm. Nice. Open arm level. Soft closing. Soft close. And what's cool about the top one. Yeah, that is really cool. So you get that. That's built in with the highway doors. But if you wanted the caddy too, that also comes with the third. Oh, so we can get two with the caddy. I there see. Yeah. Nice. And how much does this whole thing real for? Not for show special. Tell me what Not it is. Not for show special. Not for I show. I believe it's 2000 about two thousand four hundred dollars. About believe. twenty, like, maybe about twenty four hundred for this. That's pretty awesome. I like it. It's gonna be twenty three hundred. Twenty three hundred by, by itself. There you guys go. All right. Okay, and I would just ask. So that one is specific to the smaller machines. This one here is for your Big Daddy, your Luminaires, your M sevens, your M seventeens, the big guns. Everybody who knows me knows that this is my obsession. It's the M17. If you are in the market for a machine, I'm always going to point you here. And if I don't point you here, I'm going to point you towards the M8. They're my jams. I do not work for Janome. I am just obsessed with my Janome. I love it. I love it. I love it. And again, the M17 is my jam. It's got the largest hoop on the market right now. I'm telling you guys, you can fit through these hoops. It's just an amazing machine. And so I would just not be doing my job if I did not at least walk by and pet the M17. All right, guys. So this is, again, the machine that I would be pushing people toward. If people ask, nobody asks, but, you know, if people ask. The M8, oh, I love it. So they're no longer making the M7, so you should probably be able to get those for a really good discount because now it's all about the M8, which comes with the stitch regulator. These are some of our favorite feet. This is your quarter-inch foot, your open-toe foot, your clear um, partial open-toe foot. And then we've got the, um, the built-in, basically it's like a uh, walking foot. Oh, I love this machine so much. I have the M7, and this is just a newer version of it. You guys know, I like Janome. I'm not sponsored by Janome, but I believe that they make some of the best machines on the market. Okay, guys, I'm all about the interesting things, and this is absolutely cool. One of the coolest things that I've seen so far. This is by Ohana Quilt Works. And they have a pattern here, which is coming home with your girl. It's quilts on a chair. And this is a really beautiful, beautiful story that goes with this. I am going to put the story up so that you all can pause and read it. Pause it, read it, do your thing. But I want to do this. It's something different. It's awesome. And I think it is just worth us checking out. They do have an online presence. They've got a store in Mission Viejo. Again, pause it, pause the video, screenshot the video, and they have one in Hawaii. All right, guys, again, this is Quilt on a Chair by Barbara. I can't say Barbara's last name. Actually, this is the Quilt on a Chair. This is by Diane, and I think Barbara embellished hers with the specific quilt the la turtle thing okay guys check this out 
Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right. Oh, that's coming home with me. I really don't need to say much about this. It's Kai. I'm always talking about Kai. I have this set. I love this set. It's a three-piece set. And, you know, last time somebody got on me for calling this affordable. But these are lifetime scissors, guys. So, um, I love them. They work really well. You guys see me use them. I have many, many pairs. And I'll probably pick up another pair today for just funsies. But... I love me some Kai scissors. All right, guys, I'm hanging out at Caterpillar as usual. You guys talked about this nonstop on our last video. So let's just go through and see everything that they have to offer right now. Okay, we're gonna go fast uh, on this. Uh, we're at Road to California. We're, lo we're loving it here. Um, Caterpillar has been around since uh, 2010. We got in the LED business around 2016 and started making light boards. Uh, we call them light boards because we've made them super thin and light. This is only two and a half pounds. This is our cordless version called the Caterpillar Premium. It is cordless for about four hours. What makes us different from our competitors is all of our boards. We realize they are certainly great for doing transfers and tracing. Uh, that's the number one purpose of them. But all our boards come with a translucent cutting mat and has a non-slip texture. So once it's on here, it stays nice and got that upside down uh, nice and steady there so now you can cut on here the lines mean it's great for like doing paper piecing applique foundation we have four sizes that's our cordless version our main size here this is called the caterpillar basic they all have six foot cords and plugs and three levels of light and um, this is our big one this is called the ultra this is one of the biggest boards on the market very bright 26 by 19 prices are right now we have some new stuff this year too this is called our glow mini oh. this is half the size as our other ones uh, you can see it's a little bit brighter too it's all molded plastic kind of like an ipad because we knew this was going to be tossed into just purses and suitcases so it's very durable uh, of course comes with the mat too but this we're doing something a little different with this one you see the little bars here yeah they're internal plates and the reason why we made those is because we realized that most people are transferring and tracing on these and I was always annoyed about how my transfers and tracing were always shifting on me and so my wife says well put some washi tape on there I'm like well that's a good solution but if your pieces don't match washi tape doesn't work so we put these metal plates in here and you line up your tracing and your transfer so it's perfect and then these are the strongest consumer magnets on the market right now and once you put these magnets on here, not only does it hold it in place, so once the, the rest of the transfer goes right, they are bomb proof. Oh, nice. they will They will stay upside down through multiple layers of fabric. Nice. So that's kind of fun. That's new as of 2024. Now this is really fun too. This is, I don't have the room for, but we'll show it anyway. Oh, it's This my is favorite. called the flip and fold mat. Uh, this is a new kind of cutting material, it's called TPE. It lasts a hundred times longer than PVC does. Uh, so let's say you're cutting some small shapes here, but all of a sudden you have the need to go a little bit bigger. So you just actually double it. And now you went from 17 by 11 to double. And let's say now we need to cut maybe a bolt. So I flip it and I fold it again. Now I've just doubled the size again. At this point, I'll lock in these little puzzle pieces. Now I've got 48 inches of cutting. Now I don't know how often you'll need this, but then you can double it again. I don't have the room for it. And now you've got a 36 by 48 inch mat called the flip and fold. And like I said, it's very durable. Uh, it's gonna last twice as long as most mats. And then when you're done, it goes up on the shelf. Oh. It is self-healing, yeah. yeah. Um, you can cut on here, according to our manufacturer, you can cut on here twice as long as you would on a PVC map. Show the numbers, that's always my favorite part, the oh, okay. numbers. Well, so the numbers, so this is, I brought the wrong one, this is oh, our metric version, I'm but sorry. I have our original prototype. Now this is what, this is pretty cool. So we realize, ignore the scratches, it's a prototype. Every iteration of this starts at zero. So zero to 17, zero to 11, and then we double it. 0 to 17, 0 to 22. Then we double it again. 0 to 17, 0 to 48, and so on. Um, 
Oh, I love that. It's genius. No, we know. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then again, zero to 34, zero to 48. Uh. So that is kind of fun. We decided not to go with the green and go with this lighter color. This is a be available at the end of March, March. Uh, but you can uh, order here at the show and we'll ship it to you for free. March. Uh, other than that, we have some some great accessories. How little, much is that going to go for? That's going to go for one twenty nine. One twenty nine, which is about the price as you about. pay for a, a you know a thirty six by forty inch mat. Our little mini clamps are very popular. They're only five bucks. They'll hold a hundred pounds of resistance. They work on any template or any ruler, and they get your fingers away from the cutting line. So as you cut here, you don't have to worry about that. That's been such a success for us. We made a bigger one. Oh. This is great because not only does it get your fingers away from the cutting line, but now, because it's bigger, you grab it with your fist and you can bear down. It goes from the weakest muscles, your fingers. As soon as you grab that, it's all triceps. Uh, your fingers are away from here. You can really, um, you know, a lot of people I meet are, are a little older. My mother is a perfect example. She puts a 10 pound weight on the end. Apparently that's pretty common. Uh, to do that where I see people do this this solves all those problems you lock that down and now that'll hold also a hundred pounds of weight now here is the icing on the cake so let's say I'm cutting here it has a light so as I lean in here my shadows just disappear it charges with a USB uh, it lasts about four to six hours on one and that's called the clamp light uh, I think that's it for today. Let's talk about the thing that, we, that I can't oh, get. Sorry, let's, talk about the, let's talk about the rotating mat. <laughs> well, I forgot about the rotating mat. So this is, <laughs> this is called the swivel. Um, it rotates on ball bearings. So for a nice, um, clean turn. We've no, we found that if you do PVC on PVC, eventually uh, grit and dirt will get in there and then you go to turn it and it knocks your coffee over. So not only can you cut on both sides, if you're using the bottom side and a template, use this side, but if you're using the grid, cut on this side. So you can see that that's 500 cuts, but you do not feel it. So we also made it translucent, so you can use it with, out the light, but if you happen to have it work on any light board, you have the advantage of it showing through the light. So that is really it. <laughs> you want to do prices? Yes, let's okay. do them. So th this is normally, this is uh, $59.99. The Glow Basic is one. These are the sale prices for today: one hundred nine ninety nine. The Premium Cordless version is one forty nine ninety nine. The big one is two twenty five, and the Flip and Fold is uh, one twenty nine. The sale price is one nineteen. These are five bucks, and this is thirty four ninety nine. And then our brand new Your Glow Mini baby. is sixty nine ninety nine. The little Glow Mini. All right, guys. Cutter Pillar. They do Thanks, have an guys. online presence. All right, still at Road to California, you guys. I'm hanging out in the booth, 4th and Main Designs with Scott. Coolest thing ever. I didn't even realize until he showed me. It is the Jelly Roll quilts. That's Scott. <laughs> I tried not to get him, but he's in there. Hey, Scott. It's the Jelly Roll quilts for all seasons. You guys, check this out. Jelly Rolls. We've all got them, and now we can use them seasonally. Look at this. We've got your... oh. This is one of my favorites right here. Actually, I really love this guy. Presents, you guys know we all want this pattern. Everybody wants this pattern, I know you do. And then check this one out. Oh, they're so good, they're so unique, they're so fun, and they're all done with jelly roll strips. Look at this, so then we have this large mousse, and he has kits over here. You guys, you guys can reach out to your quilt stores and ask them to start carrying Fourth and Main if they don't already. This one here was new to Houston. It's called the Falling Stars. I love that pattern. We've got some smaller patterns here. So some of the large ones have minis to match. Again, this is the second half of the seasons. Oh, St. Patrick's Day, it's coming up. Valentine's Day is coming up too. Look at this. Oh, I love that. I just think that the Jelly Roll quilts for all seasons is genius. I love that concept. All right, check him out. Okay, guys, you know that we are all about innovation on this channel. You guys see this? Yes, that is an, a, uh, a QR code that's embedded. If you haven't done so already, check out the Beauty and the Beast quilt. Yes, I put the song in the quilt. That's probably the best thing that I've ever done, guys. And I don't know that it gets all the love that it deserves, but I couldn't have done it without Pinless. And so if you guys wanna check them out, 
they have these pre-made tags here and it's very very easy to figure out i have a video showing you guys how to do it but now they've gotten so big that they have so many more designs so all your baby quilts can have one of these in there and you guys i want you to think outside the box like i have also put videos to people in the qr codes so if it's your baby, it's your grandbaby, or it's something that you want to just live on forever, I actually think that all quilts at this day in the game, at this, at this moment, should have a QR code on the back. So that way when people see our quilts, they know exactly what we were thinking when we made them, they know why we made them, they know who we made them for. I just think it's time. This is one of my very favorite things to do, and I don't talk about it enough. I don't think, I really need to do another video now since my my um, subscribers have grown so that you guys really know how cool these are so you guys know that we are all about innovation and I think purely gates hit I mean they just nailed it when it comes to embroidery can you guys see all that shine they have incorporated mylar they are one of the very first companies that I ever saw with embroidery and at the time I didn't know what an embroidery machine was I didn't know why I might want one I didn't understand but I knew for sure that I wanted to play. <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. And now that I have some machines that will allow me to play with the big kids, I'm ready to make my first purchase from Purely Gates and do a Purely Gates quilt. Um, I don't know which design I'm gonna choose. I'm really drawn to these here. And then the teacups are absolutely amazing. This is their holiday stuff. They have an online presence. You guys should definitely check them out. I'm gonna show you guys the, the sample. Here's one of my favorites. This is the Mylar Divas. Look at how cute they are. They have so many designs that come. So this is one. This is another cutie patootie. This is the Mylar Swirly Ballerinas. And yes, guys, you can stitch these out in any color you want. So if you got a little brown baby, you stitch her out in brown. This is so cute with the little curtains. So yeah, we've got the uh, teacups. Oh my goodness, you guys know that I am a teacup gal. I am obsessed with teacups. So it's either gonna, probably, I'm definitely gonna get the teacups. And then I'm gonna show you guys the other, look at how many teacups come on this pattern. We're definitely doing one of these for sure. I still haven't found the ones, oh, you guys. I could do the other ones really fast. This one here is gonna take me a little bit more time, but not really that much now that I have a tin needle. Isn't this amazing? Look at that sparkle and shine. Okay, let me show you a couple more. I'm a flower girl. These are the calla lilies. And they're absolutely gorgeous too. This will be a faster stitch out because it's just got fewer colors. I'm also a real cowgirl at heart. Uh, Mylar boots, oh my gosh. You guys, I can't pick the struggle. You guys are gonna have to help me pick. And here is a sample that just took my heart away, or my breath away, I should say. Oh, I loved it, and I wanted to make this. I thought they had some of the most yes. beautiful designs, and I am just dying. I'm definitely getting this one too. All right, I think that is enough of the samples. This Western Flourish is really nice too. All right, let me know which ones are your favorite. Check them out, Purely Gates. I forgot to tell you guys that she also has quilting designs. And so she has them in various sizes. Look at that, that's amazing. And some of her designs actually come with a quilting design that is matched with it. Um, and she shows you how to do the design that comes with it. And she also has some border designs in some of them. So. If you are in the embroidery world, you guys might really find some of these designs very cohesive and useful. Isn't that little guy cute? All right, we're all done with Purely Gates, I promise. Let's do it. Okay, this is our brand new M3. We've upgraded some features from the M2, including an easy on-off button on the top. We increased the size of the handle, so it's gonna be even a little bit more comfortable to use. Same easy to use water fill at the top. We've improved the size of the uh, the window so you can see how much water you have in, inside. 
Um, we've moved the cord to the side. That means you can put it on its bottom or leave it in its traditional way on top of the trivet. We've added auto, uh, auto stop, auto shut off, excuse me. In this position, auto shut off will con commence after 10 minutes of non-usage. In this position, it will commence after 30 minutes of non-usage. Um, you may have noticed our lovely new spotlight, which is great for working in small tight spaces. We've kept the same sharp edge for the, uh, the, the sole plate, same materials that everybody loves. Um, <clears throat> additionally, we've increased the steam performance. And now see how the little ring is glowing white? Okay, when that goes to solid white, that tells you it's at a desired temperature. In case of steam, once it goes to solid white, these two lights on the side will also go to solid white, and that will tell you that it's ready to give you maximum steam, like in this case. So, I can stand back, look at how much steam, despite its size, oh, man. it delivers. Oh, okay? you can take that and to a hotel. And you have even more steam control. If I press the button on the left side, steam's gonna come out the top. If I press the button on the right side, steam will come out of the bottom panel. Oh, man. <laughs> so by squeezing together, you get a facial from that distance. So, uh, we're so excited. We have it in three amazing new colors. We have pistachio, coral, and aqua. Um, nice. And they're ready for sale. Normal retail price is $80. Okay, normal retail is $80, guys. All right, guys, I am at Breakwater Fabric on the cutting edge. I love that. All right, you guys, here are the stars of the show. Now, you guys know that I've always said that I wanted one, and I'm thinking today is probably going to be the day because I haven't seen any deals this good on working machines. Now, if you're in the area, come on by. She does not like to ship her featherweights because they get broken. So if you are in the area, you all need to call. I think I might take this one. Now, you guys know my plan is to probably give it a little zhuzh and um, paint them. I think I'm going to paint one. This one here is probably the best deal because it's got that centennial sign on it. So you guys tell me which one to grab. And she has this cutie patootie right here. But if you are in the quilt game, you probably want one of these. You probably have seen these around. They are a thing. They are a vibe. And I feel like I will be making my step towards true quiltress if I get one. <laughs> so we're going to check them out and see which one I end up taking home. All right. You guys know how I feel about Handy Quilter. I think it is the machine for me. Out of all the ones that I've seen, I'm thinking it's going to be this guy right here with pro stitcher now it hasn't happened yet but i am very very hopeful that this year is our year now this one here is the 24 inch neck and the reason why i'm drawn to this is one it's a little bit quieter you guys know that my machine will be in my living room this one here is the big daddy it's going to go faster but it's also louder so these are things to think about and also i will be able to do the um felting foot this one right here has a few different feet that I can use that I cannot use with the Big Daddy because it's got that uh, bottom camera and I want to say there's something else, the light or something another. So they're different. And so we've got to figure out which one is which, but Handy Quilter is my jam. <sighs> I just love them. I just, I watch my quilter quilt the dickens out of things with hers and she runs three Handy Quilters now. And there are so many other people with stories like that. So. We are, yeah, we're just remaining hopeful that this is going to come to fruition this year and we can add quilting to the list of things that we will be doing. But yes, Handy Quilter, and they've all been changed to the name Amara. So the Infinity is the Infinity, and then all the, um, the 24 inch and smaller ones are now called the Amara. I will give you guys more information about Handy Quilter as I learn it. But again, I'm just remain hopeful this year. Handy Quilter is my jam. Handy Quilter also has this little guy, and I want to say the price for this is really in, every, in just so many other people's reach. It's the Moxie, and yes, you can put automation on the Moxie. They have it over here. They call it Pro Stitcher Light, and if you want to see amazing things happen with the Moxie and Pro Stitcher Light, check out Ben Millet. I think it's Ben Millet. It's M-I-L-E-T-T. -T. He does amazing things with his Moxie. 
you can't, I don't know that he needs anything more, more than a moxie with all that he's been able to do. So if you are worried about price and space, the Moxie is a much smaller machine for a much better uh, tangible price. All right, so I'm in Dora Carey's booth, and yes, that is Dora Carey over there. But this right here has just stopped me in my tracks. Let me show you why. It is the cutest bag ever. She's got it in several different sizes. So this one here is the big one. And I'm going to put my hand out here so you guys can kind of get a an idea of the size of it. It's a good size. It can go on your shoulder. It's just a showstopper. And then she's got it, again, it comes in a couple of different sizes. So we've got the medium size right here. And the baby size is like super duper tiny. It's the one right there in that corner. But this is called the Bee Bag. And I think this is in a great find. She's got a couple of other new things that I'm gonna show you guys too really quickly. All right, so here are the bag patterns. The H bag is my jam. You guys know that we're going to make one of these eventually. I've been saying it for years. Let me show you the sample of the H bag. Here's the big one. <laughs> this kit sold out because of course it's just perfection. I love it. But here are all the sizes of the H bag. Oh, I bumped into something. Here we are. I love this. This pattern right here was for that Alaska cruise that she did. That's a newer pattern. She's got the fabric for that guy back again. And there was something else. There's some baby kits that she has that are also going on. You guys check out orange.quilts. She's just absolutely one of my favorites. Okay, now I'm checking out and I am actually here with Dora Carey. I'm gonna say hi. She says hello to everybody. <laughs> Cohen Visitor Store. These are so cute. These were ornaments, but they would make such cute bag tags. They would make cute ornaments too on the tree, but they're huge. Let me show you guys compared to my hand. Look how big this thing is. I love it. All right, check her out. We're at Easy Piecing, and I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite finds. I remember seeing them before, but you guys always ask about foundation piecing, and this is the best way to do it, in my opinion. It's my favorite. Okay, we're starting with um, a charm pack piece that's not cut down to the size the pattern tells you, but it works. Charm pack is great for this project. It gives you a a good variety of fabrics. We're going to start with fabric piece number one, wrong side facing up. You're going to put your foundation block on top. When it's like this, you want to read the printing on the foundation. You're working on the right side of the foundation, looking through to the wrong side of your fabric. You want about a quarter of an inch between space one and space two. That is your seam allowance, so it tells you where to put your next piece. So we will put a pin in it just to hold it, and we're going to flip it over so the right side's facing up. Take fabric piece number two, put right sides together just like normal, only we're going to take it to the machine and turn it over and stitch on that line. And you're going to use a regular stitch length because we're going to leave this foundation in. and then step number two is to press it we'll run it across to set those stitches open it up and press it so there you have piece one and two and now we're going to get ready to add piece number three and this is where we're going to add it on so we need to get rid of that extra fabric so we're going to put a straight edge along the seam line and fold the foundation back. You don't want to cut your foundation. And then we use the add a quarter ruler. It's got a quarter inch lip on it, so it just hooks on your straight edge. And we'll trim that away. And that leaves us with our quarter inch seam allowance. So now when we turn it over, we know exactly where to put our next piece. Again, right sides together and turn it over and stitch on the line. So this is leave-in foundation. Mm -hmm. Leave-in foundation. Done on the same manner as paper piecing except you leave ours in. Wow. No mess. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you can just stand your side stitch, so you paper piece is a real fine stitch so you yes, can rip it out. Uh, yeah. But now you don't have to tear it out, and that's not fun. 
<laughs> no, that's kind of my, part of my now therapy. Now that the block is all covered, we're going to go around the <laughs> outside edge yeah. and trim a quarter inch from the solid line. That solid line is your seam line and you join it to another block or to a sashing or whatever it's be. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And as you guys can see, if I was going to do a pineapple block, this is how I would do it. Because, you know, it's so easy for these to become wonky if you don't have a really solid method of doing this before. Look at how clean that looks. And you get to leave it in. And you don't have to worry about pressing it and making sure that it's adhered to it. I really enjoy this product, guys. So check them out. I'm going to show you some of their designs for just a moment. Okay, I'm showing you guys some of the things that you can do. And because it's foundation piece, um, the Mariner stars and the compasses and the things and all the, all the things will come together so much easier. I am such a fan of this product. I have done one or two of these. I don't know if I've shown them, though. I ran into these really early in my quilting, but I am a fan. I prefer these so much more than the fusible ones. Look at those points. All right, tons and tons and tons of patterns. Again, it's easy patterns. So I'm hanging out at Laura Star. You guys all know that this is the granddaddy, the Cadillac of all ironing boards. It's got that huge water tank down there at the bottom. And she just told me that she can fuse stuff in an instant and I, think that is one heck of a selling yeah, point. Yeah, <laughs> so let me get there in just a second because first I'm going to press the seam for you. So check out how nice and flat that is. It sure is. And I you touched it. Yep, it's nice. And, it's, it's dry and cool. You're kidding. So check this out. There's actually a fan built into the board. Yeah. Oh. So it's going to pull the air down or blow the air up. And wow. it's going to activate just by touching the handle of the iron. Wow. Okay, so let me show you that fusible that you're excited to see. Okay. Okay. So we're usually working a little bit harder with fusibles. We're putting a lot of weight and pressure and counting. Yes, yeah, But with my powerful steam, it's totally set. Are you kidding me? I hate fusing. So, I bought a heat press to fuse. So this <gasps> is steam a seam. It doesn't matter what kind of fusible you're using. It's going to work great. So something else I want to share, I can control my steam here. So let's pretend for a second this is a regular iron. When I'm doing my binding, unless I hold that iron in place, that fabric pops right back up. Right. But I can spend the same time and I can use my steam from Laura Star. And check that out. <laughs> so yes, this is the Cadillac yeah, of ironing is. systems wow. for a reason. Wow. Look at that, yes. guys. Well, that is a Laura Star in a nutshell for all of you guys who are looking for them. And yes, you can find them online and on their Instagram. All the things. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, so remember that fan that we showed you? Mm -hmm. It's going to activate just by touching the handle of the iron. And I can change the direction of the fan, okay? So that fan can blow up to create this cushion of air. So when I've got a lightweight fabric, or even if I have packaged quilt batting, I can hover that steam right over the garment and remove those wrinkles really quickly. So that fan is helping me out, okay? So that sleeve is going to be really easy for me as well to remove those wrinkles. Okay. Wow. So again, if you imagine that I had a quilt top on my board yes. and I've got that fan blowing up, that quilt top's not going to get caught on my board. <laughs> so I can reposition really quick. I don't need to really worry about having a square board. <laughs> if you don't. All right, guys, I'm at Girlfriend's Quilt Shop. I got mine yesterday and I got to see Carolina yesterday. If you guys are coming down to the show, you guys might catch her tomorrow. This is her new glow ruler and I actually have mine in hand. It is glowing, it is lit up, it is amazing. And I am so excited to use this guy. We uh, got a glimpse of it at Houston when she debuted it. And if we really love it, I bet you we can get some other sizes. I cannot wait to use this 
black on black. So you guys know that my cutting mat right now is black and I cut a lot of black fabrics. And this is gonna help me be able to see where they come together. Cause I've been struggling a little bit with that lately. But I am very, very excited for this. You get about an eight hour charge and it is retailing for $59.99 at Roads to California. Again, I'm at my girlfriend's quilt shop and this is the Carolina Moore uh, quilt ruler. I am ready. Okay, so this embroidery hoop was based on a vintage hoop that Kari found in France that we all fought over. So she thought, if we're fighting over this, I have to figure out how to reproduce this. So it's a brass ring okay. that has a channel in it and a spring that you just and then put your ring under and you feed the coil into that channel okay. and roll it till it snaps in place, mm -hmm. hold one side, give it a tug, and voila. <laughs> and the advantage to this is it's not wood that's going to splinter. Okay. It's very light okay. and warm in your hand, and there's no screw at the top that's going to snap off the break. <laughs> I love it! $20 <laughs> here at the show. Oh, okay, perfect. Hanging out in the French General booth. We just saw that demo. I am getting one of those hoops. Have you ever seen me stitch something? No. Is it a notion? Yes. Is it awesome? I think so. So we're doing it. Um, I'm just showing you guys some of their fabrics right now. I know that a lot of you guys out there love this colorway, love these types of fabrics. So I'm just showing you. It is beautiful. I know you guys think I only love Tula, but really your girl just loves quilts. And I think these are absolutely stunning. We've got some embroidery work here and there. Look at the blue colorway. It's just beautiful in here. What a cute bag. All right, guys, again, French General. I'm here at Swan Amity Studios and I'm obsessed. I've always been obsessed with the bandits. I think they are the cutest, cutest pattern ever look at this guy down here again I'm just obsessed I purchased this at the last show and here is how to find her isn't it cute all right okay we're, we're making fabric turned edge circles thinner than a dime yeah. okay super fast so it's this one exactly I grabbed my motif no more fussy cutting <laughs> my mom invented these because circles were the bane of her existence she could do them, but she didn't want to baste or trace. That's a fabric sandwich. I'm cutting around my seam allowance without measuring anything scant quarter inch. This is the hero. It's a liquid starch, undiluted. And I get it real wet because I want zero resistance when I tell my fabric to lie down. I'm using the sides of my fingers. Not like this. It'll take too long. We want to go fast and perfect. Get it down under the iron. <laughs> I'm using a little pressure, and I hear the sizzle. I want that starch to dry. These are metal, so they get hot. Here, do you want to feel? It's still a little warm. When it's warm like this, you want to pop it out. Oh, okay. When it's warm, you pop it out. Wow, it's tight. It's tight. It's tight. It's in there. See the condensation? Don't touch that. It's hot. It's metal. Okay. Push it aside for 25 seconds. Now it's warm. You want to feel just so you know when to pop it out. It should still be warm. Okay. Pop back to front. Remove the inner, and I can really manhandle this. But because of the starch, it goes right back. Put it on your warm surface, reshape, give it a final bloop, and bloop. And it's a perfect circle. And it has to be perfect because it, it's foolproof. And now this one is now warm, ready to pop out. Open it up because of the starch, it goes right back. Put it on your surface. One last zhuzh. Good to go. They're going to love that you said zhuzh. It's kind of my thing. Oh, good. You zhuzh it up. All right, you want to see a very small. I just want to show you guys sizes. The mate for they go the all the way up inch. to a two inch. This is the two inch, and I'm gonna pop this up. So this. All right, guys. I am at Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery Designs for all you embroiderers out there, and I'm just digging this particular motif right here. I am kind of obsessed with it. I'm a tea girl. I love tea. Love to go to tea. Love my tea kettles. And this is just super cute. And they use pleather here or leather, I don't know. 
I, I want to try this one here. They also have their thread sets available. Um, I think my favorite one, I don't know, it might be the pastels or the vintage rose. I don't know. I'd love to see thread sets like this. They have a coupon code that's good for two weeks. So I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, it's a one-time purchase. So fill up your carts. Go crazy. And uh, do your thing. But again, here are some of the thread sets. Oh, maybe retro is my favorite. And the thread sets, the pack is $20.99. Now, I just bought a bunch of thread, but I'm certainly thinking about buying one of these sets. I just don't know which one I need. I don't know where my collection is lacking yet. Again, Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery Designs. All right, I am at Lamb Farm Designs, guys. And yes, they do have an online presence and a super cute booth. I'm obsessed with this pattern. When I tell you obsessed, like obsessed, I keep walking by, I keep coming back. I'm like, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Um, and I'm about to get it <laughs> because I just, I have to have it. So this is this new line by Moda. I think it's just a beautiful block. It is their new pattern. Um, they have this in a kit that will be available. They also have ghoulish tidings. Y'all know I am a sucker for a Halloween kit. Love Halloween patterns. Um, let me see what else we got here. We've got Jolly stack stocking. I, you guys, I really think this is my favorite pattern I've seen in the entire show. And I'm out here hunting these patterns. There's another one that I like that we're going to get to in a second too. But this one is my jam. And look at what they use for the binding. Oh, you guys, I'm obsessed. Totally obsessed. There was nobody in this booth and now I have brought the people. So I'm going to show you guys in a second the, the other patterns that are on this side. This quilt is called Daydream. Look at how cool this is. People are really asking about these kits. Like they are going crazy for these kits. Ooh, it's a churn dash. Y'all know how I love a churn dash. And this is called Simply Done. It's got some applique work in there. We've got this one, Holiday Lane. I am so obsessed with this booth. It is a cutie patootie. Um, this one's called Love American Style. And this one right here is really cool too. I think this might be my second fave in here. I like the quilting on this too. This is a good choice. This one is called Twinkle. And they have this one in a kit too. I think they still have it. I mean, I'm sure they, they will when you guys log on, but people seem to be just buying up all the kits in here. I get it. Kits are a thing. Okay, guys, this is my absolute favorite booth. It's the first time that she has done her booth here. Now she can do, did you guys hear that? The comment, the lady just walked by and was like, this is beautiful because it is. This is, if I had a booth, this is what I would want my booth to look like. Look at how she does African fabrics, guys. She can do African fabric cultivation. These curated kits, unlike anything I've ever seen. I am not usually drawn to African fabrics, but this is unbelievable. I am also obsessed with this pattern way here. It's called Ayama, and it's available on her website. Look at how that headdress in those colors sits atop her head. I'm just blown away by this booth. You guys, again, I am not. You guys know. You guys have heard me say it. Every time I judge a quilt, I'm like, eh. But this, the way that she curates, People are in here going crazy for these. She, I was in here yesterday and they are just, so she calls these platters and these are her fat quarter stacks. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. Look at this jelly roll. She's got a gift, I'm telling you guys. Um, there are some people who are just gifted with color and fabric choices and putting stuff together and all these fabrics I tell you African fabric is bossy it tells you what to do but she has put together something that I think would be really easy to make look pretty without you know having to look at this green stack oh my goodness oh and then the blue one these colorways nailing it I'm gonna spend some time going through here 
Um, I hope you guys are loving these fabric choices as much as I am. You will be able to get these online. It's just amazing. Amazing curated bundles. Another fat quarter roll here. All right, I'm still in the booth, Kina Quilts, and this here is a Get Out of Town 2.1 done beautifully. It is this pipe, oh, this little just kiss of yellow for me. I am obsessed. Now, I haven't made this size bag yet, but I am, because the other one is just a touch too big for me all the time. It's still amazing, but we're definitely going to do, this is the Get Out of Town 2.1 and because you guys know I don't like looking under the skirts, you know, but this one here I had to. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, she did an amazing job with the inside. Yes. Look at that. Oh, this bag is beautiful. Let me know if you would like me to um, find out if she will kit this bag as it is. Do a fabric kit for it because we were talking about it. And I actually want to make this one. And so let, let her know. You know, she can put together a kit so that she can make this bag specifically in these fabrics. And then below, she's got an ultimate travel bag that is stop traffic beautiful. She says she gets stopped in the airport all the time when she's carrying this bag. And I know why. It is absolutely striking. Okay, guys. I, this is the coolest thing that I've seen thus far in all the, in everything. This is on my friend Chrissy's uh, body. Look at this, this is called the convention bag. She made it, but check out where it, it. this was what got me. I was like, I said, did you make that? She says, yeah, I said, is it a thing? She's like, yeah, it's a pattern. Now it's difficult to make, but we're gonna try it because I want one of these so bad. Oh, and then it waste up here. Oh, look at how cute she looks with this thing. And of course she picked some oh, super <laughs> awesome fabric because she's also a Disney person, but, and then check out the, the emblem. Oh my goodness, where you get that? House of Threads, that's you, that's, that's your me. company. Yeah. I love this, I love this so much okay guys we are going to find out this pattern i'm going to flash it on the screen and then we're going to make this because i want one bad and she won't give it to me <laughs> so this is the cute little one this little guy is yeah, so i've got to make these i can't believe how many buy any bags we're going to get out of me so this one is the little guy this is the round trip duffel and i guess we're going to get this one out of me too i guess i'll do all the sizes you guys are going to be sick of me and by any Look at this. Isn't this, it's just the way that she curates and puts colors together that really makes these just beautiful. You guys, you too can do this. Do not be scared. You know, everybody is, everybody is welcome. <laughs> she took this. She did a workshop and then she went home and finished it. Aww. That's beautiful. All right. This might be my favorite section. Look at this. Look at this. You know what? I got an idea. I think I'm gonna go up to her house, and we are just gonna we are just gonna go through these and sell them all. But this is oh my goodness, y'all! And I'd like a picture of. All right, guys, this is the last ones I'm gonna show you. I want this guy so badly. I think it is so beautifully curated. They just they're just excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then she has the small 20 piece uh, jelly roll strips too. You guys, let me know what you guys want me to do with Kina because I feel like there needs to be a collaboration of sorts or something. We got to do something with Kina. So, again, we are at Kina Quilt Studio. She has all the African fabrics and she has them curated to perfection. So, let me know what you guys want to see. I am at Thimbles for you, guys. I'm thinking about starting to collect thimbles, but I just saw something that I think is so cool. Now, they have all these thimbles. They have the bells. They have the things, and these all look amazing. Shout out to the people who actually collect thimbles. These are absolutely gorgeous and cool. I think that the, collect the thimbles and the bells are such a great way to uh, get like a souvenir. Yeah, we get fabric too, but this is just a nice souvenir to have. These designs are so cool. You guys, I think I'm gonna start collecting thimbles. I'm thinking about it. 
Let me know if you guys do thimbles. Okay, guys, go for it. Okay, I'm a silversmith. I make and sell <gasps> sterling silver thimbles Ooh. and sewing tools. And today I have on a sugar skull chatelaine. The chatelaines were originally worn as a clip on the waist of the uh, skirts of the ladies in the Victorian era. And they had all kinds of tools, but we're now wearing them on our necks because now our tools are right here in our lap where we need them. Wow. So the sterling silver sheath and chain works with a small pair of scissors. You, they can be used to cut threads or any little nipping that you need to do while they're still on your neck. You don't have to take them off, unhook everything. When you're finished, you just put them away. My other tools are a little pin cushion. The original pin cushions were a little piece of corrugated cardboard and you stuck your needles in from the side. But I've made mine with hand dyed silk velvet and it has a boiled wool dot on the inside. So that's, you can poke right through the front or from the side. This is a magnifying glass. It's a 7X real glass glass magnifier. My thimble here is attached by, with a bobble of beads, so it just hangs on top of these beads. You can turn it around when you wear your thimble. You leave the gemstones hanging, and when you're ready to put it away, you turn everybody upside down, put the chain through, and hang it back up where it came from. I love these sugar skulls. They're so bright colored. Ooh. This is a needle keeper. There's a nice long one. I have to also make shorter and simpler ones. And a little bit of thread on this one. Wow. The chatelaine is both the piece at the top and the whole fixture. Wow. So it's kind of a universal word. This is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing with us. You're welcome. Okay. I am giving you guys this code. You guys know that connecting threads is my... 50 weight needs thread. It's the one that I go to. I can afford it. They have these super cool kits. And this one here is the Bejeweled kit. Super affordable. 30 bucks for all of this. Not $30 for two rolls. You guys know I love me some connecting threads. They have super great fabric. One of the best black fabrics on the market. Period. Point blank. Nobody really talks about it. If you are looking for a blacker than black fabric, check out connecting threads. Tons and tons of patterns, fabrics, kits, things, but my 50 weight needs, all of my 50 weight needs are the um, connecting threads, 50 weight. I just love it. You guys have seen me pull out my stacks and this is what's in the sacks. It's not a quilt show unless I visit the baddie lady. She's at like 90% of the shows that I go to. And she says for this show, she has the poly in the high loft that Karen, I think it's Karen McTavish, is teaching. And she says it's great when you want something for um, like a wall hanging or something that you want to be super warm. There is nobody who is more knowledgeable about batting than the batty lady. We're gonna do a video with her at some point. It's gonna happen, but she's got everything. You name it, she's got it. She's got an online presence. She's based out of California and she just has all the things. If this isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, more people have got to get hip to this. Quilter Select rulers, they are what you want. They make a huge difference in your cutting. I have never been wrong. I go around and I sing their praises because they are what I use, they're what I believe in, period. That's it, it's Quilter Select. They are coming out with new sizes, with new shapes, it seems like every year, and it makes me very, very happy, so yes. Quilters select, if you can find them, grab them, make the investment, make the purchase. These rulers right here, yes, you will not be disappointed, I promise. You guys, get in the comment section and tell everybody how much you love your Quilter Select rulers, because I swear, it makes a huge difference. I'm in the GE Designs booth, and I bought these clips. They are the large um, wonder clips that... I don't have any of these and I see people using them all the time and they used to have some like numbers right here and I missed it yesterday that go on these so that you can help with your labeling which is awesome sauce. You guys know the GE Designs patterns. They're awesome. You guys have seen them. Lots of them use the Stripology rulers. The person who uh, created it, designed them is here. And here we are. This is what I'm buying from them. They have these wonderful curated bundles. And this one is with E-Bond. And I am just... I've always been obsessed with her fabric. You guys know I talk about E-Bond. Being with Free Spirit, they have tons of half-yard bundles. But I went ahead and grabbed this one. And I'm bringing it home. 
If you're curious to know what the show deals look like, there they are. And here are the little numbers that you can put on there. Little stickers. So, I'll start with this. I have a guide and a tiger eye. Okay. This guide is for sewing perfectly uniform tubes. This uh, tiger eye is for lining this up to sew the perfectly uniform tubes. Okay. So I'm going to do this one, number three, because it's a very common size. I find the three on this. There's a hole next to that. Okay. I'm going to drop the machine needle into this hole to line up this guide. So that's the plan. Yes. <laughs> so this guide has sticky tabs on the back. These sticky tabs are the washable, reusable kind used in scrapbooking, so they're acid-free, won't leave icky stuff on your machine. But they'll collect all the lint and dust off your machine, like mine are doing, so they're going to lose their stick'em. You can rinse them in cool water, let them air dry, and that stick'em comes back time and time again. I can get this on and off my machine about 100 times before I have to rinse them. And about 450 times before I have to rip them off and replace them. So for me, that's a weekend for you a little longer. <laughs> Slide the two pieces together. I slide this up. I'm going to set it down on my sewing machine in front of my presser foot, but not under my presser foot. Press down on my sticky tabs, raise my needle, pull this out, and I'm ready to sew. So I have these fabric strips cut. They're cut on the bias. So if I'm doing anything curvy, like this stuff, I want a bias cut. So I slide the fabric under the metal. As I push it through, it folds itself in half. Lower my presser foot, and I hit my go button, and I'm ready to go. Since I'm cut on the bias, I'm using a stretch stitch. The stitch I like to use is the one that looks like the lightning bolt. It's really hard to see with this color thread. And if you don't have that stitch on your machine, any zigzag will work. Just make it narrow and long. Okay. Um, and if you're a straight stitch girl, just make it a longer stitch, and you're going to turn it slowly. Okay. I'm definitely a straight stitch girl, so you said make it a long stitch, like a basting stitch? No. Uh, yeah, longer, a stitch, longer stitch, not quite basting, but okay. a little bit longer stitch, and turn it slowly. This okay. is straight stitch, turn fast. Right. See, straight stitch on bias will break. Ah. So just turn it slowly and you'll be okay. Okay. Okay, so as you can see from the stitch line to the fold, all the way down is perfectly uniform yes. with this guide. Now. Slide the fabric onto the tube. And because it's caught on the butt, cut on the bias, I have this nice little point. I fold that over and I hold that nice and tight so it forms almost like a little fabric trampoline because I want something firm enough to pop this little wire through. Can you see that wire? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, okay. These are handmade by me in my living room on handmade machines. So I actually make these tools. You slide the wire up, pop it, whoops, pop it all the way through the fabric, turning it to the right. Then I'm gonna center that over the hole and get it started coming down the hole. And now I open up the seam allowance. So as I turn it, it's gonna stay open. Oh, wow. So, since I'm cut on the bias, mm -hmm. if I don't push up on the fabric, look at this, it won't go because it sucks down onto the tube like the little Chinese finger trap. Mm -hmm. So as long as I push, it will turn. Just like that. It opened right up. And then I've got the seam to the back. You press it nice and flat, and you can get the best curves with this. It's beautiful. Doing it that way. I love that that opened up in the back. So I have one magic trick if you want to see that. Yes, we want to see this a magic trick. This is a tube. Trick. I'm going to get cording into this tube. So I can make cloth covered cord, like to do baskets and uh, you know what I mean, all the, all the things that people are doing with cloth covered cord. Instead of wrapping, I turn mine. So here's the cord. This is just Joanne's 830 seconds cord. Okay. So I'm turning the tube, the wire's down. I'm just fabric grabs fabric. I just get near it. Yeah, it did just suck it right in and there. And it just goes right in there. That's my one really cool magic trick. That is an awesome magic trick. And now you have, I make piping all the time. And cloth covered oh, cord. So actually, this is cloth cording. covered cord. Here's my piping. So I'm piping, I just sew with the pretty side out, okay. and then I just pull a cord into it. 
And if you need to make this a million miles long, mm -hmm. I have a method for that, which will be a video on YouTube okay. by the middle of February after I get home. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds so, perfect. Ah, oh, I love this. That's how I do that. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Quilt shop. Fastturn.net. Perfect. Yep. Look at these beautiful designs. I'm in the Fast Turn booth. And I love this kind of work. Look at the beautiful stitches that are going across that are holding it down. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here are some more ideas for ways that you can use this. Some lattice work there. A matching, I think that, I don't know what that is. A matching tablecloth maybe? This is absolutely beautiful. I love this kind of work.